What's good, everybody? This is your girl, Jasmine Taylor, and I'm about to vent. Those Twitter days, did you discover anything about yourself? I mean, from being so boisterous? Did you, I mean, did you enjoy it? I mean, is it like something like, damn, I probably wouldn't be, you know, like, um, what's, what did you discover about yourself in those Twitter days? Because you was, you was well. And you was, uh, it was a lot. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so what did you discover about yourself? Okay. There's so much I want to say about my Twitter days. And I said I'm going to give it to you raw, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. My Twitter days, I was going through a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, I say between, all right, 2009, 2011 or so. In between those years, I was trying to find myself. I mean, we still, as years go on, we still try to find ourselves. But at that point, I was still trying to find myself because I did... I was 16, I had left high school, mm -hmm. I had went to Job Corps, okay. so that gave me this feeling of, well, I already experienced being on my own, now I'm smelling my ass a little bit. Okay. I'm grown, can't nobody tell me shit, I'm going to say what I want, I'm going to express myself. And that's the mentality I had because at the end of the day, I grew up in a Christian household and a Muslim household. Mm -hmm. So certain things weren't able, allowed. Mm -hmm. I wasn't allowed to wear certain things. I wasn't allowed to say certain things. I wasn't even allowed to go certain places. So because, you know, once social media came, I'm like, F this. Mm -hmm. I want to... Let it hang out. Yeah, let me just show my personality. I'm ratchet, mm -hmm. whatever, but I'm also a businesswoman. I've grown to become a businesswoman yes, based off of the following that I then began to build. Because in all reality, a lot of the people that I know... I've met all of you guys through social media. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't grow up in like one of the popular neighborhoods. I, I grew up downtown Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I grew up in a style where a lot of people know each other. I didn't go to Boys and Girls High School, Sheepshead High School. I didn't go to things like that so to where I knew a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, so I just began networking from then. And I just, I'll never forget, I asked Big O, shout out to him again, I can never, He's the one who put me on to a lot of stuff, like as far as business, as far as marketing and networking. Even to this day, he might hit me up like, Jazz, delete that. You know, mm. he does that. Shout out to DJ Jazz, Star. I mean, big old, he's still alive. <laughs> yeah. Because what, what's that? What's the bundles pop up? Oh, he went underground. I, I talked to him. I've seen, I think I've seen him like twice. He but... just had a pop up shop August mm. 3rd at mm. Sanders mm. Studios. It was dope. Let me tell you this. I don't do this for free, but <laughs> he the one who put me on. He helped me make a lot of money just because mm. of the knowledge and mm. things he instilled in me. Um, big old bundles. He's been doing it for a very long time now. It's been te about ten, 10 years, years now. Yeah. He <laughs> started doing it when everybody else started doing it. Then he took the same grind he had from the party promotion exactly and applied it. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, I remember remember when people used to go to like Empire Skate and Ring to party and stuff. Mm -hmm. On Friday nights for yes, tea night, I used to try. The shuttle go. was dangerous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the shuttle train was very dangerous. Me coming from downtown Brooklyn, I had to take that shuttle train. Mm -hmm. My um, I was I was with my grandmother, so and she was more old school. So she knew about Empire Skating Ring. She knew about the Elks. She knew about a lot of the places Ooh, that were dangerous. Elks. Yeah. So me being a teenager, I'm like, can I go? Can I go? I used. To, she would always say no. So I would used to like sneak out. So now I'm I begin to rebel. Uh -huh. Now that I guess. When you met me, I was rebelling in a way because okay. I was so sheltered. Um, growing up by a Christian teacher, like, of course you're going to be yeah, sheltered. No, no, that makes sense. Um, that, yeah. You just explained a lot. Now, a lot of things make sense mm -hmm. to me. 